Meet America's top trial lawyer, Terry Jackson of Terry D. Jackson, PC. Terry Jackson of Terry D. Jackson, PC, is an accomplished Georgia trial lawyer who has devoted his career to helping seriously injured victims and families secure justice. After earning his undergraduate degree and a master's in accounting and taxation from the University of Tennessee at Knoxville, Terry earned his law degree at the University of Georgia School of Law. He was admitted to the Georgia Bar in 1993 and opened Terry D. Jackson PC in 1996. And his record of success includes over 100 jury trials in state and federal court, more than $100 million in compensation recovered on behalf of clients, and some of the largest verdicts in the state. Now welcome Terry Jackson. Terry, you've developed a reputation for trying cases and particularly trucking cases. If you would, tell us a little bit about how you arrived at this specialty of trying trucking cases. Sure. Um, early in my career, just like you said, I, I wanted to try cases. A lot of folks go to law school and want to do other things. I wanted to try cases. So I got approached by a lawyer who said he needed the case tried, and it happened to be a trucking case. Um, and I jumped into it. Uh, I have family members that were in the trucking business, and I was also a combat engineer in the Army. So part of my job was driving trucks, heavy equipment, and making sure they were maintained. So it was kind of a natural fit for me. And one of the things that's, um, I guess, a little curious to me is, uh, it's a it's a defined specialty, I know, handling trucking cases. And tell us, if you would, a little bit about the difference between handling a trucking accident case versus a, a standard car crash case. Well, it, in a trucking case, you, I call it the big three. One is the physics, just the size of the vehicles. Uh, so, and there's two components to that. One is understanding you know, how those cases are reconstructed, the math and physics. The other is modern business is about analytics. So trucking companies are no different. They want to meter and measure every variable coming off a truck. So it's, it's, those are the type of cases where there's a data that's available, but you have to fight for it. Trucking companies, a third component of that are not your friends. They're not going to share data, whether it's video or telematics or ECM data, you're going to have to fight for it. That's, those are the three big issues in the case. And when I say physics, how the vehicles operate, why it takes them longer to break, articulating vehicles to the regulatory aspect of that with telematics and the FMCSA, the regulations, it's a highly regulated industry. And then when I say the fight, you know, this is an adversarial uh, business uh, being in litigation. So you're going to have to fight for your rights, so to speak. Now, when you talk about telematics, is that is that what we think of? You know, I remember you used to hear about the black box and how everything was recorded. And so is that the modern day version? It, it is, Donna. I used to, you'd have black boxes and you still have those on, uh, you know, commercial vehicles, ECMs, um, and they're standard and fungible across Detroit Diesel gives you more robust data down to Caterpillar or Cummings are not as robust, but still gives you data. Telematics is more computers and cell phone data. It's really that simple. It's the same way that you track your children or grandchildren when they're out at night is the same principle as the data coming off the ECM or what they call the data bus on commercial vehicles. They kick off codes. They're interpreted. Folks back in trucking headquarters can tell you how fast, whether they're idling, a whole uh, variety of reasons they want to monitor truck drivers' activity. They're able to do so just like you and I are today, sitting at a desk. They can monitor, see what a truck driver's doing, how fast, where he's at where she's at, um, how slow or fast, 
anything that saves a trucking company, uh, such as idling, they, you know, truck fleet managers are loaded to see someone waiting to pick up a load and they're idling so they can message them. You know, they have a screen inside their tractor and these days also on their phone that lets uh, the company stay in touch with their drivers and monitor them. Well, thank you so much, Terry, for sharing that information about trucking cases. And if someone wanted to get in touch with you to refer you a case or perhaps consult with you on a case, what would be the best way to get in touch with you? Well, the easiest is um, email or going to the website, but my number is 404-659-2400, pretty easy number. But they can go to my website, my email is there, email us at terry at terryjacksonlaw.com and be happy to consult with them. I try cases all across the country. I haven't tried a case in Alaska or Hawaii yet, <laughs> uh, but they're on the to-do list. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today, Terry. Terrific. Thank you.